Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the responsive web design in HTML. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn about these things. We're going to learn how to set a viewport. Okay, what is the viewport? Viewport is the browser's window size and the responsive image. How can we have the responsive image in our web file? And the third thing is show the different images depending on the browser's width. Okay, we have learned about the third point. Okay, in the last video, which was about the picture element. And in the picture element, we have learned about to show the different images depending on the browser width. And in last, we have the responsive text size. So in this video, we would be learning three things, setting viewpoint, responsive image and the responsive text size. I have already created a web file with the picture and a dummy text and now I just want to use the viewport. So as you know that we use the viewport in the meta tag. Okay. And we use the meta tag inside the head element. All right. So I just want to use it here. Viewport. You're going to write the viewport and in content, you're going to write the width. It would be device width and initial scale let me just save this file and run it again one more thing here that you won't see any difference in the windows browsers okay okay for checking out the difference when you use the viewport and when you don't use the viewport you have to go to the inspect and put your web page into the mobile mode okay so this is when you don't use the viewport but when i just use the viewport and save it again now you will be able to see the difference here all right now you can see that if i just narrow down the size of the browser or kind of the web page it doesn't increase the size of the text or reduce the size of the image all right so that is a kind of a difference when you use the viewport and when you don't use the viewport okay for the responsive image what we do here uh, is we simply go to the style use the width 100 percent and let me just save it again and run it again now you can see that we have responsive image all right if i just put it into the desktop version and change the size of the browser now you can see we have the responsive image it is kind of helpful but uh, when we just use this way it also scale up the image from its original size so sometimes we don't want to scale up the image from its original size so for that all we need to do is to write max width height auto run it again I had done some mistake there so now you can see that we can scale down the image but you cannot scale up the image uh, more than its original size okay but when we were not using the max width in this scenario we can scale it up kind of more than its original size now you can see the difference here so i think the max width is a kind of better approach okay in last we have to make responsive text size so how are we gonna do that and to make the responsive text size all you need to do here is to give a style to make the text size responsive all you need to do you have to give the font size and in the font size you would be using the vw okay vw stands for viewport width okay if i just write the one here the font or the text will take the one percent of my viewport width all right if i just write the five here run it again now the text size of the paragraph will take the five percent of the viewport width all right so this is how we can make our text responsive now you can see that uh, we have the responsive image and as well as the responsive text size okay if we just inspect this thing into the mobile version we can also see the difference here okay now you can see that we have the responsive image and the responsive text and this is how you can make your web design responsive if you really find this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye